Hey y'all, it's Kat again. Um, today I figured that I would make another chill get ready with me. Um, you guys seemed to really enjoy that last time. I know I look like a skeleton right now, but um, just waiting on this mask to dry. So I'm really just going to speed this entire process up because it is um, too much sometimes, you know, just getting talked at all the time. So I just want you to feel like you're just hanging out with a friend and just literally just watching somebody do their makeup. Um, hopefully that isn't too uh, creepy for you. <laughs> it isn't for me. I'm the one here like showing you. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't really have a plan. Just kind of do something simple, easy. Probably going to go way overboard with it, but we'll see where it leads. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and I hope that um, you come back. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. I think the first thing that made makeup an exciting and um, and relaxing experience for me was finding the right products. So um, really just like narrowing it down and shopping around until I got stuff that I personally really enjoy. And so like if it doesn't make you feel good, you know, maybe something more important like a family member or your job, you can't really say that with. <laughs> but I think that makeup is trivial enough that you can be like, you know what, I don't even like this thing, why am I keeping it? So I think that's something good for everybody to kind of follow is if you're not enjoying it, either replace it with something you think you will enjoy or just get rid of it, you know, because in, at the end of the day, it's, it's a few bucks. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's thing number one. <laughs> So uh, the second thing is I think creating a space for makeup is really important. Um, finding a place in your home that has good lighting, um, getting yourself a little kit. I mean, I, I've started to feel like a real, you know, makeup person when I got my makeup all in one place and it was like really organized. I actually bought this, um, this bag from Walmart. It's uh, a caboodles bag. And it's got little, you know, compartments for like everything. And so that's where the majority of my daily makeup stays. And so the stuff that I use constantly, that's what stays in there. Obviously, you don't need as many products as I have. I just do it for fun. But, um, but you know, get, get yourself like a bag that is your makeup bag that keeps everything super organized for you. That way you're not having to like dig around and you know and and search for stuff that that just makes it automatically more stressful so get it really organized get it really narrowed down and uh, and I think that you'll start to enjoy it a lot more I think it's really important to have like a place for makeup I don't do it in my bathroom anymore I'm actually in my second bedroom I have like a whole desk for this but like I said this is really my hobby and so if it's not your hobby like I would recommend maybe investing in like a small vanity or something for your bedroom or um, at, at least like a nice mirror for your bathroom, maybe even like one of those little containers that holds all your stuff in it. Um, that way you just, you know, you're like, okay, this is my makeup place and like this is the place that I can either take time or I can spend only five minutes because I know where everything is. So I think that that's really important um, and the lighting is really important too. Like if you don't have good light in your bathroom, it may be time to change out the light bulbs for something that looks a bit brighter and looks a bit, you know, more healthy um, rather than something that's dingy and dark. Yeah, or do it in front of a window. I, I do mine, nine times out of ten I do mine in front of the window um, unless it's like 5 a.m. and then I do it in front of my bathroom mirror because ain't nobody got time for that. I think also uh, mood is really important and so I play happy music, I play relaxing music when I'm doing makeup, but I think creating a space, you know, getting yourself a snack or getting yourself something to drink and like laying it all out nice and you know picking colors that you like that sort of thing just taking the time to like actually make it something that is an experience for you I know we don't all have time to do that every single day but if you can set aside you know 15 minutes I think that that's plenty to just like get in a spot where you're like I'm gonna make me look and feel pretty I think that that's a big part of it is just feeling pretty um, you know like you can't just snap your fingers and make it happen it takes a lot of different things going on to make us feel not pretty and so it makes sense that it takes a lot of things to make us feel pretty and so be intentional about that like giving yourself a place where you're like no I am a glamorous model in this area right here in my house 
for the next 15 minutes. Like, I know that's really easy for me to say because I don't have kids, but I think that it's important to like connect yourself to your femininity in a really intentional way. You know, it, I mean, it, it may be a good idea to, to separate, you know, yourself from everybody else for just, just an hour a week. And like I said, it's, it's very easy to say that if, um, if I don't have kids, but just my opinion. I also think that makeup is in itself a relaxing thing because it forces us to come in contact with ourselves, like literal physical contact, like you're putting your hands on your face. And I think that that's something that even if, if that's the only thing that you change, where instead of doing that, where you're like intentionally, you know, do it in like a very gentle and pleasing way, I think that even will just change the way that you're, you're viewing that time. That's the kind of thing that makes me excited about makeup is those chances to do those things. I think it's just the whole experience of being really intentional. For me, makeup, because it's so repetitive and because it's so detail oriented, it's very meditative for me. Um, and I would love that to be everybody's experience with makeup. I know some of us can only afford the 30 seconds that we're going to have at a stoplight. And I honestly, I think that that's unhealthy. I think like, why even stress yourself out with makeup at that point? Like, literally take that extra 30 seconds and just breathe in your car. And then, you know, have your mindset in a better place rather than your face in a better place. The emotional state and the mental state is way more important than the physical state, if that makes sense. So take care of yourself before you take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so... Here it goes where I'm just going to, I'm just going to move on with the makeup now because I'm tired of talking. All right. So we are ending the endless drone and I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and do it.
feel good and these are all products that make me feel good yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for being here and spending time with me and I will see you guys again soon okay bye